Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, for those of you who remember me building this little go-kart, uh, it's pretty much sat right back there since I built it. Uh, my son's just kind of scared of it. I don't know why. He's kind of a daredevil on everything else, but kind of scared of it. But it's been sitting for a while, and it's starting to kind of show that. It's developed some surface rust on some of the areas I didn't get oiled or clear-coated well enough. So I'm going to go over, kind of clean it up, and give it a good wax polish. Uh, let's see if the battery's still charged. It has working turn signals that I built out of, I cut up old junk beetle turn signals and then I made the lens out of, uh, just heated up some. Yeah, battery's still charged. <laughs> the lights, got headlights? Oh yeah, we do. Cool. Is the horn work? <laughs> yep. So the battery stayed charged up. It's been sitting over there literally since I built it. It's been sitting right there pretty much. Tires are a little low, but I'm going to clean it up. It is going to um, the little place where I keep my art in our local mall. Uh, we're going to use it as a display. We're going to use this car, but it is summertime, and they have just waited too late to get that in. We like to drive them in the summer. So I offered a solution by saying I would bring in uh, the little beetle with this little camper. And I'm sorry, things are kind of tight in here right now because I got that other big tent trailer in here. But I got this little camper here that I built. It belongs to a friend of mine, it's not mine. Uh, I don't know when I did that, two years ago maybe? A year ago, something like that. It's on the channel as well. Tiniest, world's tiniest camper or something like that. Gets new life. I'll walk you around and show you the other side of it. I put a skylight in it, it didn't originally have one. And then it has these little portal uh, windows here, a bigger one here, and then the ones on the side are just super cute. I have to go stand in the yard to see them, but little portal windows. But I thought it might be kind of cool to make a display in the little store that I'm in. Got to shimmy out of here uh, with these two cars. Or two items, I guess I should say. One car and uh, a little tent trailer. <laughs> You can't get it. Let me stand in this trailer and see if we can get it. Just thought I'd mention right here, this trailer, the Higgins trailer that I'm getting ready to stand in is not our Higgins trailer. It's one nearly identical to ours. I did for some friends of ours. <laughs> Trust me, I don't really want to do any more of them, but I was certainly happy to do it for them. Yeah, if you look through all of the, the poles and junk we got going on here, you can at least kind of see what it's going to look like. I think it's going to look pretty cool. The camper's a little bit big for what what would be associated with a car that size, but I think it'll bring in some people to come look at it. So I now have to come up with a hitch system for that because I don't want to leave the two pieces disconnected there because, uh, let's be honest, people are just kind of, uh, what do I want to say, disrespectful, uh, unintentionally disrespectful. They just don't understand how things work. So we need to make this attach to this car somehow. And I got a pretty good space there. It can come down a little bit. So we can drop the tongue of the trailer down just a little bit. But I got to come up with a way to attach this trailer to that car. And you know as soon as I do that, he's now going to want to drive it because it has a hitch on it. <laughs> he's definitely my kid. Uh, but I think it's, it's kind of cute. The, the camper is a little overbearing, a little bit bigger. Uh, ratio, space relation wise to the car but i think it's so ridiculous let me get you see if i can get you out there it's so ridiculous sorry about that i think it'll bring people in and that's what we're trying to do so i'll set up some vintage camping gear around it and we'll move some art in around it and then i'm not opposed to people sitting in the little car uh, as long as they're little people and they are supervised by big people so i'm gonna put a sign on it somebody might as well get some use out of it yeah i put the volkswagen strip on the back but made the tail lights. The, the lights actually work too. And the license plate light works. No brake lights though. I didn't. I didn't wear brake lights up. We didn't get that crazy. Has a seat belt in it. Uh, this seat fits over the uh, roll bar. It's just out of there right now. And then all these scratches, I need to buff out. Get kind of cleaned out. But I think it's going to look pretty good in there. So let me get it all cleaned up. We'll get that cleaned up and we'll haul it out there and I'll show you what it looks like when we got it in place. 
the door panels were his, I built this whole car to his specifications. The interior, the door panels, all of that was his idea. That's a real beetle chrome strip down the side. Complete with Sharpie markers, markings. <laughs> Probably need to go remove those. Just now noticed it. Missing a bolt down there on the running board. So we got a little bit of cleanup to do, but other than that, I think it's gonna be a cute little display. I go ahead and run the gas out of it before I wash it. There was just a little bit in the tank. So this is kind of what I came up with. I need to uh, go get some Marvel mystery oil just to coat the car itself and then get some tire wet. Do the running boards and the tires. <laughs> It looks pretty cute. I've got this, uh, move this out of the way. Get a good feel of what it's going to look like. There we go. So I built the hitch just kind of like we do the single wheel hitches that I build. Basically, it's got three bolts through it on each one of those bumper slots. So it can't pivot really either way too much. I'm gonna modify the back of this car eventually. I don't like the way that that, we left it on the original uh, Disney Autopia frame. So we just basically slapped the beetle body on that rather than destroy an antique. I love the little portal windows on the camper. It's too cute. It looks pretty good with it. I mean, it's it's a little bit missized, but not terrible. <laughs> of course, I sent a picture of it. My uh, Mr. D is at my parents today. I sent a picture of it, and of course, he now wants to drive it. Go figure. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Yeah, let's take it in and see what it looks like in the store. Hey, Dalton. Way to go, buddy. Uh, 